exciting outdoor sports. None offers such grace, beauty, and perfect symphony of motion as diving. Here, for amateur and professional alike, timing is a leading factor in the execution of any dive. This arm stand cut through with a half gainer is a striking example of all that should go into an exhibition dive. The younger the prospective diving champions start, the better. First, the fear of the water must be eliminated from the embryo ace. And this little cock seems to have conquered that completely. Then technique, which may be a bit rough at first, but that's the way to begin. We don't know what to name this dive, but why bother about a name? The important thing is, she does it. Speaking of technique, it doesn't take many years of sincere effort to make a beautiful header backward like this. Every child feels safe in daddy's arms or riding pickaback, especially if daddy is a veritable Adonis. Perfect confidence and lack of fear. And by the way, a perfect header forward. Now for a running start and a happy landing. A pickaback half twist, that's a gem. Up to the top of the knoll for what some folks call a swan dive. And the excellent performance of Daddy and his courageous little girl comes to a thrilling end. Before diving, one must learn to swim. And here we see a backstroke swimming race with ten fair mermaids as contestants. Here, rhythm and synchrony of motion again play a leading part. And as for speed, women champions have covered 50 yards in 31 seconds using this style of stroke. Open water contests are always popular. Here, stamina overshadows all else. Healthy bodies and constant training are essential. And it is hard to believe that the mile distance has been covered by a woman ace swimmer in as little as 23 minutes and 47 seconds. While swimming and diving are fast and favorite sports for most of us, these youngsters believe in comfort and a plunge without effort. Plenty of speed and a shower bath for the cameraman is part of the fun. As we watch these girls swim underwater in the glass-lined pool, we are able to see and appreciate the grace of the breaststroke. Of late years, water spectacles have become widely popular. Ensembles of swimming beauties in striking formations. Some give the impression that one is looking at a huge white flower, its petals shimmering in the wind. Others appear like an enlarged snowflake dropped on the water by Jack Frost. Now for a plunge from the high diving platform. It's a long way up, but it's a fast way down. Here is the back jackknife analyzed by the slow motion camera. Beauty of form, grace, and perfect timing. Let's sit in and watch a program of expert diving. Diving aces in what are called compulsory dives for championship ratings. A full twisting forward one and one half somersault. A one and a half gainer. Singles, duos and trios are all on this program of aces. A front jack with one full twist and it's a grand one. Now a young lady gives us her version of a half gainer. In addition to watching rhythm and form, the judges add points for the diver who makes the smallest splash when entering the water. Here's teamwork in applying one and one half forward somersault. For perfect timing, watch this. A front jackknife and a half gainer pike. 
and the object is for both to hit the water at the same time. On they come, aces all, and those who have reached the top run execute backward somersaults and full gainers like this. And they come up smiling. The judge gives high honors to this young lady for her one and one half somersault backward and the sharp cut as she hits the water. In slow motion, all the requisites of ace form are revealed. The takeoff, the position of the arms, the grace of motion while in the air. We've been watching blondes for a long time. So let's see in slow motion how a brunette executes a full twisting forward, one and a half somersault. In the arm stand, first the diver must attain complete balance. This is called a cut through and a half gainer. And now we come to timing exhibitions where teammates strive to enter the water at the same time, regardless of the dive selected and regardless of the height of the diving board from the water. This trio exhibits a fine example of teamwork. And the first half of the show ends with a back one and a half with a half twist backward and the unanimous vote of the judges. There's a comic or two in every show. Instead of a half gainer, he calls this a half wit dive. Talk about the man on the flying trapeze. He's got nothing on this aerial comedian. Guess which end will hit the water first? Well, you're all wrong. Here comes Lucky, not to be outdone by his master. There's no name for this canine caper, but we'd call it a doggone good dive for a pup. Something's going to happen when two wrestlers have an argument on a diving board. We're used to watching the bone crushers do their act on the mat, but tying a fellow up in knots underwater is a new one on us. Everything goes with no referee in sight, and the big boy bubbles over with pride. Out they come, and the winner adds a finishing touch. Now for the ace dives of the contest. The winning half gainer with a half twist for women. Another fair winner of the one and one half gainer tuck position. The winning team of girls in forward headers. The winning tandem for men with a half twist forward. And now the diving ace of the performance with a perfect full twisting forward, one and a half somersault. Swimming and diving aces, champions everyone.